Hello everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to establish a communication between Unity and TIA portal by the library which you can see on the screen, which is called S7Net Plus. Here is a PDF documentation, here it's written how to establish communication, how to get data, how to write data, and what we need to do first is to make a proper configuration of the TIA portal. Here it's also written how to do. First of all, we need to set properties of the data block. For this procedure, we need to uncheck this field. It's field by default. And we have to uncheck it. For this procedure, we need to click data block by the right button open properties and uncheck this field. I already unchecked it earlier. Next, we have to open PLC properties and provide full access here and also permit access for communication. How to do it? Also, open TA portal, find PLC, click properties by right button and protection and security provide full access, scroll down and click also here permit access. And as we already opened this page, let's take a look to the IP address. This is our IP address of the PLC. We need to remember it as we'll have another program which is called net to plc sim. Uh, this program will help to transfer data from TIA portal to the Unity and backwards. So there we will place our IP address of the PLC and another IP address of the Unity. I'll show you later on. Okay, let's move to the Unity settings. Here what we need to do is to first of all place S7.NET library. Um, just this one file, dll file, you can find it in the project, uh, in the description, you can take this file from there, from my project. After that we can start configuration of the program, what we need to do first is to connect this library, after that define a global variable plc plc and in start a loop uh, just fill IP address of the unity this is different IP address we will put it to the net to plc sim program and write plc open after that we can read data and also write data there is nothing difficult in this library I think everything is pretty simple let's let me show you the program here the addresses, I use uh, the same addresses located in the data block here are in order to see addresses you need to compile first you feel something, change something, then you need to compile it and addresses will be here so what, what we can do by TA portal and unity we can send discrete signals to the TA portal from, from Unity. This is byte button 1, 2 and 3. Here's the addresses. Mm, 0, 1, 2 and here's the same. Also we can send analog data by slider and input field and we can receive discrete signals. We can control these bulbs by TA portal by discrete signals and analog signals and that's all for description let's open net to plc sim program and see what can we do there here we need to <coughs> add a configuration the ip address of the unity ip address of the plc i already created it earlier so let's open it and check so this is similar to the Unity, 
and this one similar to the TA portal okay then we need to click start server and move to the TA portal here we need to upload the program start simulation okay then start search our simulator will be found load program load and start module finish in order to see how program works we need to click glasses and what this program will do is to change these bulbs one by one so the unity scene has two modes manual mode and automatic mode by plc they switched by this slider here is a program from plc let's hide it we can show it by switching it and also place back in manual mode we can also control these valves but this is nothing about the communication about controller we just do it manually by buttons, toggles and input fields and let's see how the program works in order to start the program we need to click first button let's click it and bulbs will be switched one by one and this is continuous process so in order to stop it we need to click second button okay let's click it let's stop then let's we can also see how data is transferred in the data block also click classes here and see what can we do So we can see how the response in the TA portal by our buttons in Unity. Also how analog data is transferred. Input field also works. And we can control our bulbs by analog signals here also change how bright they will let's make this more brighter than the previous one so as you can see everything is working there is nothing difficult about this library everyone of you can use it if this i hope this video was helpful for you okay bye